Gentlemen, shall we join the ladies? My name is John Blundell. I've known Margaret Thatcher for 40 years. And in fact, although I was never on her payroll, I interacted with her in every job um, she ever had. And I'm the author of Margaret Thatcher, A Portrait of the Iron Lady. Uh, when I first heard about this movie uh, and the fact that Meryl Streep uh, was to play Margaret, uh, I, I, I immediately uh, was a little worried uh, because of, of Meryl Streep's uh, own ideas and, and policies and so on that are very distinctly not Thatcherite. Uh, but I must admit to being pleasantly surprised. I think overall uh, Margaret comes out of this process with her reputation uh, enhanced. And of course Meryl Streep's reputation hugely enhanced. Uh, she gets under Margaret's skin in, in, in incredible fashion. Well, it's all very well to talk about changing my voice, Mr. Reese, but for some of my colleagues to imagine me as their leader, it's, it's be like imagining, I don't know, being led into battle by their chambermaid. Margaret Thatcher is a, a, a very important historical figure. Some would say one of the top two or three prime ministers of, of the last um, couple of hundred years. The British economy uh, was uh, ranked 19th out of 22 in the OECD countries. Uh, the unions were running uh, riot uh, and we were heading south. Uh, the nationalized industries were losing gargantuan amounts of money, um, requiring huge subsidies everywhere, every year, and, and, and going uh, downhill. Um, she uh, sorted out the unions. Uh, she cut marginal tax rates hugely. Uh, she got control of the budget. She started privatizing and denationalizing, and we saw huge improvements. And um, she made the country walk tall again and um, fundamentally changed the attitude of people in the country to a, a free market-based economy. She changed it all. And she started the process that brought peace to Northern Ireland and with Ronald Reagan and the Pope, helped tear down that wall without a shot being fired and destroy the evil empire. It's an astonishing list. When you sit down and make a list of what she achieved, it's astonishing. I think it was a, I think it was a pity that Ronald Reagan didn't appear. He appears just once dancing with her. Uh, but he, he, there's no actor with a speaking part. Uh, the main American politician to interact with Margaret is Al Haig at the time of the Argentinian uh, invasion of the Falkland Islands. With all due respect, when one has been to war... With all due respect, sir, I have done battle every single day of my life, and many men have underestimated me before. This lot seem bound to do the same. But they will rue the day. Now, shall I be mother? Tea, Al. How do you take your tea? Black or white? The main criticism has been that it's unfair uh, to make a, a movie about somebody with dementia when they're still alive. I was initially quite taken with, with that idea. But after giving it some thought, I, I thought, well, you know, she put herself out there in public life. Uh, when you go out there in public life, the, the rules about what you can say and what can be said about you change. It's not as if she was a private individual. Uh, and, and, and the, the dementia is portrayed quite sensitively. It's not like she's permanently um, thinking that her husband is still alive or, or, or what have you. She has her lucid moments. There's a fantastic scene when uh, Margaret is with her doctor and uh, the doctor's um, asking her questions about her mental health. And she's clearly lying, and she knows she's lying because she's not at the, she's, she's tuned in at that particular moment. And the doctor's phone begins to ring. But I do so appreciate your kind concern. Oh, do please answer that. Might be someone who needs you. And that was classic, Thatcher. Whoever wrote that almost deserves an Oscar for, for just that line. I, th I think people who uh, opposed her um, are be beginning to change their tune a little bit. Uh, just as Streep began to, as the movie went on, Streep began to respect Thatcher more and more, um, respect her uh, qualities, uh, not, not, her, not her policies or her philosophy, uh, her courage, her persistence, her dedication. Did you like her? I am in, in awe of what she did. 
the policies you can argue with, but to sit in the hot seat, I, <laughs> I can't even imagine having that steadfastness. There is a looking back at the Thatcher era and saying, well, you know, she did it. She cut taxes, she balanced the budget, she sorted out all these uh, problems, a uh, great long list of problems. Um, wh why can't we learn from that era and, and, and get somebody who will do the same job for us today?